Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is Kwanele Mtuba. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for tied ranks. What are tied ranks? Now, where two items in a column have the same rank? There's a table on question 5. The marks obtained by 12 girls who seldom attends classes were as follows. Test 1 and test 2. There's the formula. As you can see the formula, you don't have to determine X and Y. It is unnecessary. First of all, you need to draw the table like, like this. There's the column for test 1. And this is the rank column, rank 1. That's where I'm going to rank or rate the marks of test 1. And this is the column for test 2. And this is the column for rank 2. That's where I'm going to rank the marks for test 2. And this column is the ranking difference column. Then the last column it is the ranking difference squared. That's where I'm going to square the ranking differences. Now, how do we rank the marks? Now, I'll start with test number one. I'm going to start with the highest mark and rank it as one so the highest mark here is 56 so i'm going to rate it as one the second highest 56 here the second side the second highest is 53 and then the third one you need to be meticulous when you are doing this so that you don't make errors. This is number three. Where is number four? This is seven. Going to read it is four. Number five. Where is number five? The fifth highest. It's this one. sixth highest it's 44 and it looks like we have 244 so I'm going to rate this one as 6 the first 44 and the second one as 7 and then calculate the average like this 6 plus 7 equal to 13 then divide by 2 so it's 6,5 6 comma 5 and the second 44 is 6 comma 5 I rated the first one is 6 and the second one is 7 and calculated the average. 6 plus 7, then divide by 2, 6,5. So, and then write 6,5 on both 44s. And then, where is the eighth one? The eighth highest it's forty. Is it forty? Yeah, it's forty. Eighth one. The nine is twenty five. Nine is twenty-five. Ten is for is twenty-four. 
and also have 224. So we have tight ranks. Tight ranks are where two items in a column have the same ranks. So I'm going to rank this one as 10 and this one as 11 and then calculate the average. 10 plus 11 divided by 2. 10 plus 11 divide by 2 then it's 10 comma 5 so I'm going to write 10 comma 5 on both 24 10 comma 5 and then the last one is 12 going to rank it as 12. Now let's go to test 2. So the first highest is 58. So I'm going to rank it as 1. The second one is 2. Is 50. Is 50. Second highest is 50, then the third highest is 46. Now let's check the fourth highest, it's 45. Fifth one, that's forty three, and the sixth one. So the sixth highest number. is 40 and we have two 40s which means i'm going to rate this one is six and this one is seven and then calculate the average so i'm going to say six plus seven then divide by two six comma five then write On both for this and then the eighth highest the eighth highest And the ninth twenty two and then nineteen rate we're going to rate it as ten fifteen is eleven and this is the lowest twelve. Now I'm going to calculate the ranking difference. So how do we calculate the ranking difference? It's rank 1 minus rank 2. 12 minus 12. It's 0. 3 minus 6,5. Think it's three comma five. 
3 minus 6 comma 5 it's minus 3 comma 5 yes it's minus 3 comma 5 10 comma 5 minus 10 it's 0 comma 5 6 comma 5 minus 8 negative 2 comma 5 it's negative 2 comma 5 9 minus 11 it's 2 6 comma 5 minus 3 it's negative 2 here 3 comma 5 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 5 minus 3 4 minus 2 2 8 minus 4 it's 4 5 minus 6 comma 5 negative 1 comma 5 10 comma 5 minus 9 1 comma 5 now let's go to the difference squared. I'm going to square all these differences individually. Zero squared, zero. So when you square a negative number, it becomes positive. So we're going to say 3 comma 5 squared. It's 12 comma 2 5. 12 comma 2 5 0 comma 5 squared 0 comma 2 5 2 comma 5 squared 6 comma 2 5 negative 2 squared becomes positive yes. Four, three comma five squared. It's twelve comma two five zero zero. So it's nine. It's four. I think it's one comma five squared. It's two comma two five. Two comma two five. Now let us substitute the formula. We wanted the sum of the ranking difference squared, so I'm going to calculate the sum of the difference squared. So zero plus twelve comma two five plus. 0 comma 2 5 plus 6 comma 2 5 plus 4 plus 12 comma 2 5 plus 0 plus 9 plus 4 plus 16 plus 2 comma 2 5 plus 2 comma 2 5 the answer is 68,5. 68,5. So 6 times 68,5. All divide by n. n is 12 because these are the marks of the 12 girls. So n squared, 12 squared, it's 144 minus 1, which is equal to 1 minus 6 times 68,5 divided by 12 into 144. 
minus one the answer is zero comma seven six zero zero comma seven six zero so the spearman's rank correlation coefficient for the marks obtained by the 12 girls is 0 0.760.